So, without further ado, let's jump over. I like it much more over Half-Life 1. Well, I hope so. I freaking hope so. Alright, let's start the game. Black Mesa. Here we go. Let's get on, on that train. I don't know what that symbol is. What is that symbol? What is this? As Barry would say. Alright, let's, uh, let's roll the intro. for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in area nine and board a high security train. Um. If you have not yet <laughs> submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Is the uh, game audio okay, guys? toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, wow, or drinking are awesome. permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. I'm a little quiet compared to the game. Uh, is it just that I'm sat back? I'm sat back from my mic a little bit. I could bring it closer. Put it up a bit. Let me check what, uh, how's that? Is that any better? Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. Let me out! In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. 
If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. <laughs> Just at this point, Conclan, at this point I have... <laughs> I have to say, it looks very nice indeed. The, uh, the graphics, the new scene, and everything look very, very nice. Is that where uh, Black Mace is based in uh, New Mexico? I, I don't really know. I do remember this about the original half. I know I said I didn't remember a lot, but I remember the. Uh, I do remember the long ass train ride in. Start. Do the puzzle start soon? <laughs> Only kidding. A reminder that the Black Mesa has Gordon recorded Freeman, the Catalan will commence the season at 1900 oh, yeah. hours in the level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will PhD, be MIT, the theoretical physics. Transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. There's something you haven't told me. Are you my father? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's Paul 3. No! I only played them... Was it last year or the year before I played them? Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa I'd never team? played them at all Immediate until then. You don't plan to? Of materials handling and low clearance security please contact black mesa personnel for further information <laughs> that i could be of service you have an associate with a background in the use weaponry to survive theoretical That's physics great. have you seen my aim technology <laughs> or other high-tech disciplines please contact our civilian recruiting team the black mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer And biohazard screening Step one, pick up gun. Two, pull trigger. Three, profit. Facility. Is that about right? Scheduled your analysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. G man. Work safe. I see you. Work smart. I see you. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Have a nice day. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very Can I take my safe paper? and productive day. Can I take my newspaper? Team acquires new grant to do something. Oh, I know, right? Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. It's glued to the seat. What? How rude. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. So 
have a chat with this What's guy. What's some pep in that step, Freeman? You're late enough as it is. What's some pep in that step, Freeman? <laughs> Go on, get. How am I supposed to catch my beauty sleep when you're staring at me like that? All right. There are a lot of suits walking around today. Try to look busy. Is that busy enough? Not now. Oh. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. Okay. You told me to look busy. I was, I was only trying to look busy. Oh man, you cut the ponytail. Cut Save the ponytail. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> I had a bit of a goat and short hair, do you think that looks like me? Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you'd gotten to your hazard suit. Righto. Hey you. Coded message for Captain Clayson. That um that keyboard man. It's way too big for your fingers, just saying. I've got some Windows PowerShell stuff going on here by the looks of it. Gordo. You're on sundial, and we need you on stopwatch. Up to Gordo. Isn't... Isn't that Gordon? <laughs> it's like looking into a mirror. Anyway. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Good morning! Thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. Is that the We're same person to doing to those voice lines? Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. <laughs> Actually, just something I thought of. Uh, we got subtitles here. Subtitles. The okay. sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Right on. Good morning, Gordon. Good morning. Don't want to say anything else. Okay. Gee. Doctor King reports superconducting outer change is activated. What are they talking about? Hey. Uh, I've not actually looked at any of the um, Half-Life Alex stuff. I'll be honest. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Do I still hear them talking? All the way over here. You forgot to carry the two. Or was it the three? Go bother someone else, Gordon. So she's giving me right evils. What did I do wrong to her? Jeez. I got this under control, Gordon. Okay. Alright. Jeez. Playing Half-Life Alex now. 
got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. Alright, so I can't go this way. Let's go the other way. This is Half-Life 1, um, Mika. So this is basically a fan-made um, remake of Half-Life 1. You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study Aren't they just rambling on about stuff? Hello, Dr. Cross. Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Alright, nobody seems to want to talk, so... Don't mind him. But here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Wow. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. I'm just gonna leave them to, uh... argue out whatever they're arguing. Morning, champ. Hello. I wasn't talking to you. Another day, another dollar. Indeed, what have we got here? Some particle accelerators. They look good. They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria. Again. Alright, so... Uh, come on. I want some... Queevers. Give me some Queevers. <laughs> Naked fries. Oh, I love the, um, I love the, uh, I love the cheap knockoff there of the, uh, the crisps, the chips, uh, because obviously they're called walkers and they've called them ramblers. <laughs> These double shifts are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Good heavens! What the hell? What? Did... <laughs> <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. I'd love to take a drink out of the vending machine, but, um... Looks like I can just... Keep, uh, doing that. But yeah, I, I love... I don't know why they, they're they called naked, naked fries, though, because, uh... They're called French fries. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I'm a-crouching. I don't want to count. I was injured. I don't. I don't want to count. I got enough time for that. All right, this looks like uh, stuff that we need to do. I love that they kept like original sound effects and stuff. I was watching um, some footage from the new uh, Trials of Mana game the other day, and I saw that um, they kept like a lot of the sound effects in and oh, tunes. They kept a lot of the. Um, original sounds and themes from like the very original game on the Super Nintendo, so... Tunes! It's a bit OTT though, isn't it? Freeman! Hey, there's, there's, there's a Baba. And uh, my certificate from MIT. What's this? Is this like an oversized flash drive? What the hell? What? It's a big flash drive, man. Oh no, it's not. It's paint. That's <laughs> Seriously, that looked like a massive oversized flash drive. 
It's color poison? Whatever that is. Excuse me. Minor emergency. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Don't panic, Harold. Don't panic. Uh, throw. Mouse one. Uh, I don't think he wants a toilet paper. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in <laughs> dire need of some toilet paper. <laughs> don't grab, forget to grab my passport. Where's my passport? I got a mug. I got a flask of stuff. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Interesting. Tell me more. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. He, he talks like he's, he wants to say more, but he's not allowed. And the helmet wasn't optional. Or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. <laughs> Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. Is he basically telling me I can defecate myself while I'm in the suit? Is, is that what he's saying? I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Yeah, I do, but why are you sat there around in the locker room then? There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Gordon, I'm busy. Yeah, you, you, it really looks like you're busy. Seriously. <laughs> Alright. Charge! Hey. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Rude? Why is everybody so rude? I get it. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. I heard you get extra points if you take a bin all the way through you. Always look into the future. A record speaks for itself. I don't think my pacemaker can handle any more of this. But I, let, let's let's just admit that I'm not I, I can't do bunny hopping, all right? Um. <laughs> I wonder, Conklin. <laughs> Indifferential, what's going on? Hope you're well. They wave me in the test chamber. Nah. They can wait a bit longer. really looks like it's like the amount of detail on here kind of looks like it's interactable maybe when everything's Gordon you know we both have more important things to be doing now where maybe when we um, things start going to pot so to speak we'll get to use them a bit more we should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control double check the Brewster's plates angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback How curious. 
the acousto optic modulators are on the fritz again. Of course. I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. Yeah, that. The fact that that's sparking doesn't fill me with confidence. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Who are you, Bugs Bunny? It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. Oh, I'm sure it does. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Alright. Gordon? Hello. Please excuse me, Gordon. You are excused. Um. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. You may be busy, but uh, is is this your soda can? I never. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Seriously. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Put it in the bin. Do you mind if I ask you a hypothetical question? Sure, go right ahead. I'm just gonna go this way. I'll go down here. Somebody's dropped dropped the naked fries. Ah, Gordon! There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. <laughs> Eli has been busy making last minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. You shall not pass. <laughs> I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just. Oh! It's about to go critical. Do you want this? What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Eli looks so young. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Go on, Gordon. We'll take it from here. Maybe it needs some bin assistance. No. No need to worry about us, Gordon. Eli and I have everything under control. I don't know if I call this under control. Knock threat. <laughs> By Beckrell's ghost, the radiation level is off the charts. Radio elevation level is off the charts, but hey, we're going to send you in there anyway, Gordon. It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs. Alright. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. I love when they like work, they got nothing to say. They just sort of like look up at you like this. Right up. Let's go. You, you've come all this way. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ben, we have to part company. It's it's it, it's been a blast, but alas, the 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 anti bin barrier will prevent Suit us from going any further. Ah, here he is. 
I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. Of course, what could possibly go wrong? Say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. Companion Ben. Assure the administrator <laughs> that nothing will go wrong. Yes. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Does well, sound a bit ahead. like him. Let's let him in now. Gordon walked up to a door. You waiting for me? The higher ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Hmm. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's yes, it's savoring the moment. Is it, is it too One late to say to back out? This is the beginning of his illustrious career. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. <laughs> There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. Of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. Oh, oh right, on. Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable. All this, the specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. So, this, 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 let's, let's just hold on a minute, right? They sent me into this. They sent me into this room to push a button, and then they turn around and say, "We'll take it from here." Could they not have put the button outside the room? Just saying. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon. We cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. But please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. Just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Oh, I'm looking. Standard I'm looking. insertion. Not standard specimen. This doesn't look dangerous. <laughs> oh dear. Stanley stood in the way of the beam and died. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. I wouldn't say he died glory, but yeah, The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. 
Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Saved. Very good. We'll take it from here. Just save again. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Save it now again. Aaron says keep him ready. <laughs> Scrap the death count. Let's, let's do a save count. Save again. Just in case. I, I have no idea. How are you supposed to know that though? Because if you, you come in blind, you don't really get any information about that until obviously afterwards. Standard insertion for a non standard specimen. <laughs> Run away, run away! Nope. Something happened, that's for sure. My. Dude, that area looks absolutely awesome. Unforeseen consequences. Everything done the rope. Chapters. I throw it to my lamb and it's freaking amazing. By the way, it tells me to crash before I've even like got through the door. Hey, what'd you do in my bin? Where did my bin go? He was too busy watching this VHS recording. Wally's with his face. tell you not to go in an elevator in an emergency. Listen. 
I tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. By Don't Schrodinger's you. cat! Thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is there. Uh. My God, what have we done? Fascinating. We can't afford to waste time. We need for the retro step. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along. The way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? That's not a... That's not a good thing. Just saying. I was about to say, this, this, this looks safe. Christ. You're not going to let me out here. See you had crap. Giddy God, what the frickin' hell? Oh my actual God. There's like lasers and stuff, they're all trying to kill me. Get uh, to defend myself. <laughs> uh. Sorry, I tried. I tried. I did my best, but alas. My best was not good enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's what I said. They always advise you not to use a not to use an elevator in an emergency. Gordon, Gordon, man, am I glad to see you? What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Yeah, let's go. This is in bad shape. Do I get uh, right. okay. Shit, it? Alright. Okay. Do I get like a weapon at some point in the near future? A phone. Hey! Fire! I think he just got a promotion. He got a promotion? Man, I half burned him to death anyway. He didn't do nothing. Hey, bin percent. I got the companion bin back. That's something. <laughs> this shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. Whoa! Really? You gonna get in there and shoot that guy or not? 
Oh, I need to go get some. Uh, I need to go get some ramblers. All right, it's not. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you're shooting at a wall. It's, it's not helpful. Well, I can set things on fire. That's something. I guess. Come on, let's go. Yeah, some naked fries, man. I'm all about the naked fries, that's for sure. Watch your back. Watch your back. Seriously, watch your back. Yeah, he's right behind you. Turn around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh jeez. Christ, you know, you, you try and help somebody. You're calling out the enemies. Look, don't you treat my bin like that. How you like this? <laughs> Come on, kill it, man! Jeez, they're like throwing chairs at me and everything. I think I just got a promotion. No, you didn't. How on earth can you think you just got a promotion? When you let the um, you let the, the the zombie just like walk straight up to you, I'll help you. And my flare. I, I don't think my flare helped. Oh my god, there's a head crab. Where's my protection? Is there Seriously. anybody out there? Alright, well, we're going in the vent, clearly. Oh my. Good start. Fantastic start. But hey, at least we don't have to rely on that guard anymore. That's something, right? Did we just come from that way? I could have sworn we just came from that way. Hmm, maybe we didn't. Maybe this place just looks all similar. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your G-Man now? Where's your G-Man now to save you? That zombie was still alive. Listen, I hate to ask, but could I borrow your eyes? Hey, mister. Alright, maybe I don't need to borrow your eyes. Don't, don't worry about it. You can keep them. You can keep them. False alarm. <laughs> I 
It's like freaking Resident Evil now. Jeez. Where them head crabs at? I'm sure there's going to be one that's uh, about to jump at me somewhere, right? It's a bit snowy in here. Alright, went all the way around. We have to go all the way around. I think the head crab kind of gave up and went round. That was nice of him. Oh, flammable. What the worst that could happen. <laughs> of course, did that on purpose. I can't really make use of them though until I get like a weapon, so. Okay. What have I said about going into elevators? and stuff. Did he just throw that box at me? Man. I don't like not having a ranged attack. Yeah, <laughs> these loot boxes, man. Can I have a refund? I paid for premium stuff. I love how like the most detailed part of all the body parts is the brain. <laughs> What's that meant to be? Oh, it's a skull. Okay. Coming back. I don't want it. Okay. Oh, oh, we, we got these things. Oh, I don't miss these. Jeez. Run! Hey, G, get back here. Some. No, what the hell are they? They're like some sonic wave kind of things. Do they? Do they just die? Is is that how they are? They just. I remember those from the original. Actually, I remember that those are like. Um. um <laughs> they remind me of like pugs. Those things. I don't know why. I just thought they were like pugs. Chilly in here. Minus ninety six. Pox. <laughs> Let's not get on the pog discussion again, man. Everybody thought I was crazy. Looks 
looks like we're going down. Hard hats must be worn in this area. Sure. <laughs> Narrator's gone to get his lunch. Well, these head crabs are one hit kill. This mirror is that room look exactly the same as that other room we saw not about five minutes ago. Alright, combat's not too bad for crowbar. For now. Don't know what I'm doing there. Let's just pull a random lever. Because why not? Do I need to go the other way? Maybe. We should have looked this way. Oh, hey. Thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Sure. Lead the way, Gordon. Don't do you want to be leading the way though, if you know where the security office is? No? Okay. Did you hear something? Oh yeah, I heard lots of things. Ah, look out! What am, what am I looking out for? off me then. Come on. Oh, safe haven. Oh. Well, oh yeah. At any rate. Nice. I, love, I like that animation. Should probably stick with the crowbar as long as we can though. It's, uh, I've had my fill for excitement today. Probably going to be the smart thing to do. You're welcome to stay if you want. Yeah, right, safe haven with blood on the floor. It's 42. It's a conspiracy. Do you think we should appeal to the alien authorities? Oh, yeah. I, I think most definitely that's what we should do. Does anyone have a cell phone I could borrow? I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. So where did I go from here? Oh, by the way, here's a phone. Call someone who cares. So what did I override? Right. Override. I did a door somewhere, right? I still need the first aid yet. Alright, so... going away. Ah, through here. In the foggy room. Well, we can't see anything. I'm sure nothing will jump out of us here. with the uh, crowbar after all. Oh my god, it's a flame barrel. Yeah, 
I think I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna stick with my crowbar for now. Circles, you're going in circles! Yeah, I'm trying not to. Oh, I'm sure that was nothing bad. It's kind of just makes me sad that like you have to kill them because of them being friendly in Half-Life 2. I can hear heavy breathing. On who won the diamond sword? No, no, <laughs> we are not going there. Get back down there where you came from. Maybe once you're here. Gordon, is that you? Is it safe? I do believe I soiled myself. Nice. Um, run along, Freeman. I have some sordid business. To <laughs> All right. I guess we're gonna go down. Look like there's gonna be another way to go here. Oh jeez, alright. They freaking hurt if you they hit you man with a barrel or something, they freaking hurt. Serve ammo more than anything at the minute. I don't think he wants to come and play anymore. That's unfortunate. Especially considering how I just like threw my barrel over there. Here we go. That's not good. Christ. Alright. I, th I, I think we did that right. I guess we're going the right way. Alright. Let's carry on. Loading. Clearly we're going the right way. Is that an actual drippy pipe or is that a xenomorph of some description? Maybe we do. Oh, 
Okay. Where'd you go? Thank you. In the vent we go. Nothing bad's going to happen here. I've seen those movies about aliens and walking around in vents. Nothing bad ever happens. You never turn a corner and there'll just be an alien like lingering there waiting for you. Never. Something at least. I was waiting for the freaking jump scare there. I've turned the freaking power on and the alien all of a sudden is now alive again. Because that one really wouldn't surprise me. I was about to say, I bet I'm going to get absolutely bum rapes down here. Wow, where's he going? Jeez! Jeez Louise! Are you shitting me? They're like kamikaze! <laughs> I don't even care that they're nowhere near. They're just going to keep like dropping on me. like a, sh a shit ton of them waiting for me at the bottom now, all gonna pounce at the same time. Jeez, it's a bit harsh. I, I don't know who's alive and who's not alive anymore. So freaking many of them, man. Remember that bit, I think, from the original? I remember like going down like a slanted ele elevator and being attacked but with care. Speaking out of turn, but isn't it like around here normally in the original where the like army kind of show up? Maybe not. Place we could go here. I don't think we can get up there at the minute. open over here. Let's renew our health I guess first. Oh, that's securely locked. As is that one. I think we're in maximum ammo as well. Freaking hell is that? It's 
So it sounds like one of, one of those pug things. They're like the ultrasound kind of ultrasonic wave kind of things. One thing I've just realised that's missing. Don't they um in oh wait, they that disappeared. In the original, don't you do like a like a training thing? To like learn the, the movement and stuff in the original? I think you do. Let's put the flashlight on. I think that would be safe and sensible. the guy's body go? Is that a detail they forgot to leave in there? Hey, they're attacking each other. That works in my favour. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, no, it doesn't. things the bridge has collapsed so uh, you know we gotta go that way sorry about the mess power. Alright, so think. Hey, welcome back, Mist. I think I need to just cross over here, but I think I need to do it by like, using the, the barrels and stuff. Alright, just, just for you, Megist. I've got to see if I can turn on developer console first, though. That's a fancy developer console. Um... Unknown empty prop vehicle airboat. It knows it's there, but alas, I think Aaron said that earlier. Though to be fair, I think he said he did do it. He did do a quick check, and it wasn't there. So where do I go? Do I go? Where do we go? Load of barrels here we can use. What's <laughs> going on, Mikey? What is going on? I'm not going to show you the door tonight because we're not playing Paul. So it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Hope you're well there, Mikey. How are you doing? All right. So how, do I, how am I supposed to get to the side? I know I should probably just try stuff here, but. 
I'm guessing we're going to do something with the barrels because we have a lot of barrels. I genuinely don't remember how to get to the other side though. I mean, there's something over there, so. You got Alien Isolation? Did you get it on? I saw it was on sale on Steam. Did you pick it up on there? It's, um. I, I can't recommend it highly enough, to be fair, Mikey. I absolutely love that game. And I actually sent my copy to, um. I sent my PS4 copy to subs. Speaking of which, errand. Speaking of which, errand. When are you going to be playing that? It's sat in your Steam library for uh, quite some time, if I recall correctly. Man, I totally overthought that, didn't I? I massively overthunk that. Jeez. Who'd have thunk it? Knock. Overthinking something. I have a pistol. And I'm not afraid to use it. Do these things blow up if they take them all the way to the top? Ha! Noble, I can do that. Get wrecked. Yeah, one. F I saw it was 150, and I was like, yeah, bargain. I posted it on my Discord, actually. Because I thought it was that much of a bargain. Well, I'm smashing these crates, because clearly there is nothing to be had here at all. Broken vent cover in the box. I was about to say, aren't I in the same place I was before? But no, we are not. Yeah, we're talking about Alien ISO, um, Aaron. Still waiting for you to play that. I know you've got it. Goodness for an auto save. Um, I think we should go over there. That's where we came from, right? Right. Hold shift and press space to jump while sprinting. That's what I've been doing, game. Obviously, you're meant to be able to make those jumps in without uh, sprinting like I was doing. Right, last one. Come on. Come on, knock. Aha! Pro jumper extraordinaire. Knock. Communication. Exchanging ideas is the way, is a two way process. I tell my kids that all the time when they're falling out on Minecraft. Seems to uh, seems to fall on deaf ears. All 
Alright, progressing on. Kids only want to hear, um, is it time to play on my console, or is it time to play Fortnite, or is it snack time, or is it tea time, or... Yeah. That's what my kids seem to want to hear. Alright, so we've been around in a big circle. That's where we got... Uh, that's where we attempted to get jizzed on earlier on. On the other side. Well. So far, I'm impressing my shooting skills. Is it even working like smashing these boxes? Can you actually find anything in these boxes? Or is it just a bit of a worthwhile, worthless experiment? Or not experiment, but oh, just a waste of my effort. Belphony. I did see that instantly. I thought, shh, that's Del Monte. <laughs> oh, dear. I still want some of them ramblers, man. Them ramblers look good. They have some stuff sometimes. I'm guessing not very often, though. I'm guessing not very often. Brick Battler, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome along, you absolute legend. Come at me, bro. He just killed himself. Things up for me. Uh, one of the boxes included Wheatley. I guess I just gotta sprint through this. <coughs> so, how am I supposed to get through there? Was I not meant to like destroy the boxes? Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Well, I didn't see that before. So we found this area, but we don't really need it. No biggie. Maybe I should use the went. Maybe. Everybody likes to use a good went, right? <laughs> Quickly, jump in the vent. Jump in the went. I 
think I remember when I played the original, this I was stuck in this area for quite some time. I'm not sure why. That's better. Um, yeah, what a plant. It's on me. Oh, Gordon. If I had known it was you, I would have let you in. Oh, I'm sure. Everybody's heading to the surface. But I think they're crazy. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. Sorry, my finger slipped. Right? Uh, uh. Watch, Tully. Why is that scientist in pain? What's the... What if you had an emergency? Keep emergency stations free of hazards. A rope. <laughs> what is this, really Resident Evil? Oh yeah, we got the Ramblers. Some Quivers. I didn't look at the, uh, I didn't actually look at the sweets before. Some Peppets. Oh man. Love me some peppets. So obviously, so obviously it's bigger than just in Black Mesa. I never, never knew that actually. I didn't know like that it had affected like other areas as well. And that headcrab was drunk. Story means nothing to me, Aaron. As I've mentioned before, uh, with other things, I don't really know like the back, the the full ins and outs of stories. But yeah, Ravenholm is the area in the second one, isn't it? So okay, that kind of does make sense. Think about it. It does make sense. Yes, yes. 
I didn't really One of these little that, to be fair. buggers latched onto my buddy's head. We gotta get that thing off before... Hey, good news. Help just arrived. Wait, hey! What the hell? Get off of me! Thanks. I owe you one. Uh, here, let me get this open. I, uh, I got some supplies in the back. If you want, uh, go take a look, see, see what you can carry. Got some supplies in the back. You also had a head crab waiting for me, didn't you? Didn't tell me about that, though, did you? Hey? Eh? Why is this infra? Can I, can I take some batteries? Can I take some batteries for my camera and my flashlight? Oh yeah! Mouse two to fire both barrels. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, we might live longer if we work together. Sure. Follow me. There's a lot of. Oh my. All right. Cool. Back home? Why are you get? I, I wouldn't go back home. In today's episode of Black Mesa, Knock tries to use a ladder. So I take it you're not coming down here. Ocean, you're the one that stood still, mate. Seriously. Power yeah, I never even considered like the events of Half Life Two. To be fair, for some reason, I hadn't even kind of contemplated that it was in the, in the same um, in the same area. Don't know why, but all right. So where are we going? I think I killed him already, just to be sure. Well, Doc, got any ideas? You know. I would shoot every damn lock in this place if I knew they wouldn't just take it out of my pay. Well, let me get right. out of your way. Yeah, that might be a, be a grand idea. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Tell you what, if you want to check that vent, I'll just hang out out here. I should put that in. I think those boys could have made a bigger mess. I think they're dead. I I don't know. Where's the vent again? Over there. Hey, look at them skills. I'm well happy with them skills. The old knock would have probably died there about five times over. Them shadows, man. Them shadows are something. <laughs> Jeez. They're creepy as what them shadows are. Alright, Doc. Let's tear some shit up. What? You, you, please, you, you didn't just say that, did you? Did have it under control, right, Doug, but let's thanks anyway. All right, all right. I heard you the first time. Well, so much for wishful thinking. All 
right? You scout on up ahead. I'll secure this area. If you can't make it back around, don't sweat it. Just keep going. Can't make it back around. Don't worry. Power level is 100%. Some interesting shadows right there. Oh boy. We got torrents. Some torrents. Kind of the same as the. Uh, very similar to the Half Life 2 ones. No, same game, same franchise, but. I think that's how they were. They're kind of like just. They appear, don't they? Hey. Come here. Alright, let's move. Well, I think this NPC is about to die. He's just gonna. I can see. I can see it happening now. Snipes with the raid of eight. What's going on, buddy? Welcome along. Thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it. Are we waiting for somebody in particular? Welcome along to Black Mesa. Oh no, he's still alive. I'm surprised. Which is a um, a fan-made remake of Portal One, uh, Portal One, Half-Life One. I, hey, we got more friends. I heard screams up ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> you both come in. Oh, I'm getting a little army behind me now. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Snipes. How about yourself? You uh, got over the uh, got over the shock yet? These things give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Congratulations again, buddy. Still getting over it, yeah, I bet. Think anybody's gonna believe all this? I always remember when um, when I had when we had our second. Uh, I was convinced it was gonna be twins. I was absolutely convinced because everything was so different from um, the first time around. Oh shit! Not good. Oh, she just got dragged through the vents. Holy shit! That thing tore them to pieces. I don't think we should stick around. Y you think? Wow, that shotgun. Big damage. Christ. No hard feelings, right? I am loving that shotgun. Eats up the ammo though, gotta be careful with the ammo. And uh, now I got turned around. Where did I come from? Where do I go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Yeah, that crap is dead. Alright, thanks guys. Oh man, there's one stood behind me all this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was quality. That's great. Break Baller, thanks very much for the bits, buddy. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god.
Can't believe there was like one stood right behind me that entire time. <laughs> All right. All right, well, this is a dead end. Let's not go this way. Um, see you later, Mika. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good sleep. I'll catch you next time. All right, where are we going? Something on there? Oh, no, it's just a file. I thought it was like something Oops. hidden on the shelf. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Get out of my way. Come on. Jeez. Are you sure we're going the right way? All right, I gotta go up there, I guess. I'm just gonna explore around a little bit more. <laughs> like that? <laughs> so, all of it. I absolutely batter that guy, and then he just runs in for the glory kill right at the end. GG. Get yourself some ramblers. Let me get out of your way, Doc. I haven't been that way. I keep oh, thinking I you're about that. to say something profound. Can I say something profound? Oh, that was out. Uh, all right, let's say something profound. Get out my way. How was that? Watch out for those little buggers. Oh, I will watch out for those little buggers. Don't you worry. I've said, was the was the um, team behind this remake were they British? Because I don't know. the The dialogue seems very kind of British. Alright, Snipes, no worries. Thank you very much for the raid, buddy. I Let appreciate me get out it. Of your way here. I will catch you next time. Let me get out of my way, and then you're just going to stand there in my way. Thanks. Uh, Alright, so do I go through the vent? Should we go through the vent? Looks like the cockroaches have competition. I can't go through the vent, so we can't go that way. So let's go this way then. You waiting for something, Doc? Yeah. Go right ahead. Ow. <laughs> and that was the end of him. I just overheard a secure access transmission. <laughs> Soldiers have arrived. They're coming to rescue us. Of That's course what you I think. I have my doubts that we'll live long enough to greet them. That's what you think. My Spots. bad, Freeman. Yeah, come on. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Yeah, he's dead. Just want to make sure. Is it ever explained in the games, like, later on, why the... Like, the army kind of, like, are shoot killing everybody? Well... Could be bad. Why do they have like tourists like that? Did I just go around in the circle? I oh, know. It is an upper area. Okay. Was he about to pick up that clip and throw it at me? I think he was. What's well, black and white and should be red all over? Make your own decisions. Oh, 
I said earlier on though, I, I kind of find it a bit sad that you have to fight those guys after playing Portal. Uh, after playing Half Life 2. Because obviously they're friendly in Half Life 2. But. I've got a vent that we can go through there. Hey, what are you still doing down here? Get topside. Alright. Your troops are coming in to save us. Calm down. No, but you have theories. Okay. Are they actually the army though, or are they just like mercenaries working with the G Man? Just like death or something? Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Is this the way I'm meant to go though? Or is this like a some sort of secret? Do a crouch jump. Believe the arm, but they do work for G-Man. Okay. Kind of explains a lot. I don't know if I miss stuff here. Looks like a dead end, but we'll try it anyway. Maybe it's not a dead end. Maybe this way is the dead end. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know enough around like the story of um, Half-Life, having only played it for the first time like last year or the year before. So it's relatively new to me. See the guy got out. I hate to admit it, but I do feel like I've missed some stuff by. Who the hell is that guy? Is there one of those pug things there as well? An arm will sound when the door is opened. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I just don't know enough about um, Half Life story. Oh, I think I just did a big loop. Okay. Was that all that all that was then to get the um get those things on top, I guess. Okay, why not? I didn't want to die alone anyway. Join the fun. Here they come. Where? Here comes more of those things. What you shooting at, mate? Oh, okay. I'll let you off. No? Okay. I know there's quite a lot of, um, there are quite a lot of mods in and around. I think I've just done a big loop. Is this the cafeteria? Where that one was complaining earlier on about what they were 
it's selling. I think it is. I want to get in there, man. There's like ammo in there and a shotgun. Another shotgun. You never have too many shotguns, right? What is on the menu here, anyway? Here, Cheeseburgers, hamburgers, chicken burgers, hot dogs, pizzas. Nice to see that the uh, the people of Black Mesa were were healthy. Roger that. Let's run like hell. I tell you what, it's quite creepy. To be fair, like the noises you just hear. The noises all the way through here. I'll stick around out here while you go check things out. Don't get too lost, huh? Okay. So, um... Yeah, crowbar's still OP. It's a bit like, um... In a way, it's almost like the the knife is in um, the new Resident Evil engine. Knife is massively overpowered. You can use the knife for like the majority of things. It makes the game so much easier. I haven't tried 7, I still don't know how I feel about the um, first person of it, but um, I do really like um, RE2 Remake and I'm playing through off screen, off camera as well, um, RE3 Remake at the minute as well, which I haven't finished yet, so at the minute really enjoying it. I think I've got to open the other one though, haven't I? Have I? Maybe. Open this one. Hey, there's ammo and stuff. I just don't know how I feel about, and I've said this a couple of people, I don't know how I feel about Resident Evil 7 being first person. To me, Resident Evil is like fixed camera angles or over the shoulder. So. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Anywho, we're not playing Resident Evil right now. We are playing Half Life. Oh, I see you. I might need some shotty gun. Wow, the shotgun, man. Talk about OP. The shotgun is crazy. Alright, so we need a battle I guess. Yeah, the, the music on it is really nice. I really like the music on this. Done a good job with the music. This is just like a Resident Evil puzzle. Find the valve handle. Yeah, Black Mesa music. Apparent. just happened there? Did I turn that too much and break it? I think I broke it by turning it too much. 
Jeez. Also, them hooks are a bit, uh... There's something. That should be enough to get me across there. Okay. So now I need to go back. Now, did I make a mistake by not opening that door earlier? Or can I get back up another way? Let me get over through here, perhaps. That seems. Did I get him? I got him. I obviously refer to head crabs as him. I kind of, I do remember this, like, literally. I do remember seeing, I remember this, like, kitchen segment from the original game. I don't think I go back around again. And over to the other side. I wouldn't say I have an amazing PC, but it seems to be enough to uh, run these games, which is cool. Really impressed with this, though. The amount of work that's gone into this is just absolutely phenomenal. I can see now why. That was a bit rude. I can see now why it took so long to. Uh, Actually, get it out, so to speak. I'm going from uh, it was in beta for such a long time, but yeah, no, they've done a, a great job on everything I've seen so seen and heard so far. Sorry, I should really uh, say. All right, we're out of the freezer. Oh, I see you. Also see you waiting to jump out at me. Five years, was it really? I know it was a long time. The best, the best things though are like those things that don't that aren't rushed. They 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 take their time with them. I think it's easy for developers to sometimes fall on a um, fall onto a hype train sometimes, and um, almost like rush their products because there's a lot of hype about them rather than taking the, the time with them and making them what they what they're truly capable of being becoming. Um, I mean, I also think as well. To a certain degree as well. Them shadows are weird. That's probably one of my first complaints about it. I would say the shadows are very weird. Um, yeah, I think with uh, like public betas and, and, and things like that and early access, I think um, it doesn't always do developers a good service. Cause I, I think sometimes they can they can rush their products. Uh, rush their games and then like I say the games don't um, the games don't become what they, they should become you gave me quite a scare don't count on the cavalry finding us down here doc we gotta head for the surface but with all the elevators out of order we can still climb I'm gonna bring it back in this office now Huh. Will we be leaving shortly? Yeah, Beg let's go. Beg pardon, Freeman. Aim for the carapace! Bad. 
Where's the other guy go? Oh, I really shouldn't have used my. Uh, oh, that was awkward. I really shouldn't have used the um, shotgun on that guy. There's no way I can make that. But we got more shotgun shells, so that's all the mass. Nice little landing area. Okay, we're looking the canteen there. Uh, right, so um, let's reload our shotty. Reload, Doctor Freeman. Earlier of this game, before 2019, they thought they could release by uh, sorry 2009. Thought they could, but realised they rushed to that conclusion. Yeah. I think we're going to have to save here because. Uh, no, we did it. We made it. I, I can't hold on much longer. Help! Do you want me just to put you out your misery? There's, there's not a lot I can do for you, man. I'm sorry. I wonder if I can hit those breakers, but I guess not. Well, I guess there's no going back now. Looks like everything is... Uh, broken around me. Did they just like copy and paste this this like elevator shaft? Wait, did I, I just went in a circle? What? Okay. That was um, unexpected. How am I supposed to get past the door here then? something up here, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, yeah, that makes sense. I said on the left, I cause it to fall down. Geronimo! Or maybe not. We got hostiles! So this is where the fun begins. Can't oh, do that. Okay, maybe I can throw something in there. I don't want to throw a grenade. I guess something has to stay in the beam for it to be activated.
Are they just sensors to activate the turret? <laughs> I thought they were the charges on the wall. I don't think they are, are they? Yeah, I thought they were the because you get, later on in the game you get the um, you get like the charges, don't you? The satchel charges that you put on the wall, or and they're connected to C four or some sort of explosive, if I remember right. I'm like, I've got a good idea. Let's hide behind a thing, and then destroy the box we're hiding behind. What could possibly go wrong? Alright. Oh, they're blue, are they? Okay. I have to say, so far, I don't really think um, health doesn't seem like it's going to be too much of an issue, I'll be honest. As he gets uh, surrounded by head crabs. I was expecting the, um, the other type of alien. So yeah, these ones. These ones. These are the ones I was talking about. Learn to uh, do a barrel roll. Wait <laughs> until the COVID pandemic sweeps through. Oh boy. Let's go on, Deathwish. You well, my buddy. like quite a big radius of damage so you gotta be care gotta be careful of those definitely hey thanks to the five bits Rick Bala appreciate it thank you very much glad you've been enjoying the stream so far Trying to uh, can I jump over these? Is that possible? Should we find out? It is possible. Excellent. Best clip of all time. Take them out, turrets. Do my job for me. Turrets. Literally, as well, the minute you pick them up, that like, activates them. Hmm. 
Deathwish. Come at me, boys. I'm getting shot at by the, the, my own turret. How rude. answer <laughs> I wonder if I could uh, get on there as fair there is nowhere to go and I'll do it twice just to be double sure <laughs> damn it I forgot the long fall boots how could I be so reckless I see you, G. It's now under military command. That ain't good. shit's about to hit the fan when uh, the game decides to give you a crap ton of ammo. Walking around, pushing balls. Hundred dollars to anyone who can guess how many knock points Deathwish has right now. How many knock points has Deathwish got? Hey, we got a machine gun. Excellent. With a grenade launcher as well. I think Deathwish has um, I think Deathwish must have about at least 5k and the flashlight off and then went 
see me coming. Aha, cunning like a fix. Fun's gonna start though. Foul show. Oh man, I was literally like 20 points off. Oh man, I'm a maximum shotgun ammo. Maybe I should start using that shotgun a bit more. Loving the um, HEV charge and the, the first aid. I love like seeing the bars deplete. It's a really, really cool feature. I'm liking that a lot. something Is that the code name I was given by G-Man probably get rid of the free man it defaults to um, like potato computer settings um, I turn I think I've just turned it up to I, I turned it up to normal These things. Oh, the settings were. Yeah, I just turned it to medium. So I'm sort of. This is sort of like middle ballpark. Oh man, this room does not look fun. This room is familiar though. Line for oh, it's the yeah, uh, the conveyor room. That's right, I remember the I could put something up there to do that up there, I guess. I've really enjoyed it so far. I mean, I've only been playing now for just about two and a half hours, but um, yeah, I've been lo I've absolutely loving it. Do that. I don't want to do that. That was dumb. That was classic. Classic knock dumb, that was. <laughs> uh, Alright. Where are we? We missed this anyway. Ammunition. Military 
personnel. Prosecute Kilo. India Rima with extreme force. So no, stay barrels. Stay barrels. If I pick this one up, is that one connected to the other ones? No. You can rent. You can rent an Oculus. You can rent VR stuff. Really? Interesting. I said, how am I meant to get rid of these guys? Because surely, if I try and crawl under these, oh no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Turret maintenance team. Report to central. Uh, should we just uh, roll a grenade in here? Oh, I need to walk into that other one. Am I gonna die? Take me with you. I'm the one man who knows everything. Oh crap. That wasn't clever. Yeah, I would love to, uh, I'd love to have a VR set up, but I just don't have the room for it. I tried one a few, uh, a couple of Christmases ago, um, at uh, my, it was my plumber's actually house. He bought uh, an Oculus Rift set up for his family for Christmas, and um, yeah, it was pretty freaking epic. I wasn't expecting it to be as I don't know what I was expecting, but it was it was more far more immersive than I thought it was going to be. If that makes sense. Where it stops, nobody knows. Oh, it stops here. That was a waste of time. Alright. I'm gonna go through with that. So, yeah, that was a big waste of time, and we just screwed ourselves absolutely completely. Yeah, $40 a day. Jeez, that sounds dear when you can. I mean, I don't know how expensive, like, the, the top of the range stuff is, but. I'm sure over here you can buy them for like three, four, maybe five hundred at the most. So, heck, if you're going to rent it for like two weeks, you might as well just buy one outright for the price of two weeks, right? Um, anyway, I think that's going to be a good point to uh, call it a night for now. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I really appreciate the support. Um, so we will be back tomorrow night carrying on with some more Black Mesa. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it so far. Thank you very much to Aaron for um, the recommendation. Knock is not about to play some words reloading. Knock is about to go to bed because I had a shit night's sleep last night. Death wish. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, apologies, man. I got to go get some sleep tonight. Um, I didn't sleep great. Um 
But um, yeah, everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate the support. Thank you very much to Brick Battler for the follow and the cheers. Thank you very much to Snipes for the raid. Um, I will be back tomorrow night. Uh, like I said, continue on with Black Mesa. But until then, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.